for cheap FIFA 15 coins. Check out the link in the description. Instant and cheap. All I know, if I die, I'm a motherfucking legend. It's too late for my city. I'm the youngest nigga rapping. Oh my God. Oh my God. Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. Today, we're going to be looking at new legends that could possibly be coming into future FIFAs. Now, these are players that haven't retired yet, but if FIFA does carry on in the future, these players will most likely, or actually probably will, get a legend card. But yeah, let's just start a look at this team, because this team is actually godly. Okay, to start us off in goal, we have Buffon, 88 rated. Those stats on that card are just insane for a goalkeeper. That probably is the best goalkeeper you can possibly get. Literally, look at it. I know his, I know I made up the stats by the way of these cards and the overall rating so they might not be able to scratch, just saying. Obviously this is just a test just like to see what it will be look like with all these new legends in place and all that. But yeah that's Buffon in goal, let's move on to the defence. So at left back we have Ashley Cole, 87 rated. But it could actually rival Roberto Carlos, I'm not even kidding you, look at it. But I've probably got all the stats marked up because I just, I just took a guess at what his stats would be like if he was a legend card. First centre back, now this was a very tough decision but I've put Alex there because he's been very good for his whole career. The defending stats and the physicality stats on his card are just look at no one will be able to get around him. No one will actually be able to get around that card. But yeah, the next centre back is John Terry. Bit debatable again, but I know his pace looks shit, but he is another really good player that you probably won't be able to get around. The amount of things he's done for Chelsea, the amount of stuff, I just think he does deserve a legend card when he retires. Even though he is a dickhead and a wife shag up, he, all des he definitely deserves a legend, let's be honest. Alright, the right back we have a Barcelona legend, Danny Alves. He's been literally at Barcelona for so long and he's been with them winning titles and all that random trophy bullshit stuff. But yeah, first midfielder we have Frank Lampard, Chelsea legend. Like, he's probably the best Chelsea player that's ever been. The amount of things he's done for Chelsea, the amount of stuff he's done, like apart from scoring against Chelsea in a few seasons ago for Man City, that's all he's probably done bad for Chelsea to be honest. But yeah, again, the shooting stats, the passing stats, the dribbling, everything apart from pace is amazing. You don't even need pace, the position he's playing to be honest. Alright, first centre mid we have Xavi. You can probably guess the other centre mid from Ch after Xavi, but yeah, Xavi Right, again, he's another Barcelona player that just Barcelona would not be where they are without Xavi right now. Like, I know you could say Messi is probably the key player, but Xavi and Iniesta are one of the two players that actually set up Messi. But yeah, there's Iniesta's card. I've put in one more than Xavi because I think he's just got that edge over Xavi just because he has better all-round stats than Xavi. Moving on to the cam, we have literally my favourite player of all time. I just think, like, if you don't get inspired by Steven Gerrard, who will you get inspired by? I actually think, like, he's just, like, why wouldn't you want him as a legend card? Imagine him as a legend card. Like, I'd definitely buy that card. First striker, we have Closer, all-time world record breaker, if that was made any sense, World Cup goal scorer. That just says it all, really. That card, 90 shooting. How will you ever miss a shot with that card? I know it's made up again by myself, but still, that card is just too good. Right, guys, so the final player this team is Henri. Like, oh, and he's another player that I don't even need to mention about. Arsenal legend. He's just, like... He's just good at everything, to be honest. What is he bad at? He has the pace, he has the shot, he has the dribbling. The only thing he's bad at is defending, which he doesn't even need. He's up front. So, yeah, guys, that is it for this video. If you did enjoy, hit that like button. If you want to do another more legends, future legends in FIFA, hit the like button right now. Let me know what your opinions are of what players I've chosen. If you, if you think I'm talking complete shit, put it in the comments, because I just want to hear your opinion. Remember, I'm not saying these players should be legends over anyone else. This is just my opinion of just what a random legend side that I would choose in FIFA. So, yeah, bear that in mind. But, yeah, subscribe if you're new around here, and I'll catch you guys. <sighs> I'll just catch you guys next time. What am I even doing?